John. Um, in terms of your, your own game, you've always been display a real urge to move forward with the ball when you're on the ball. Have you had a chat with the, with the new gaffer since you came in about your role, not just in fitting in with the, the team week to week, but generally really, really see as you play in the, in the, in the long term? Yeah, no, not like not like an individual chat. No, but it's just more collectively what he wants from the from the lads. He just he does want a lot more forward play. Um, just the first thought in your head. He just wants everyone's first thought to always always be a forward pass, which is it's been working well for us, and it just, um, it's just something I've been trying to really really focus on. In terms of where you've been asked to play this season, have you been comfortable with that? Yeah, it's not dissimilar to where I played. Under a lot of the manager, a lot of the managers here, and a lot of the managers in my career. So, anywhere the midfields, fine. How are you looking ahead to the next week, John? Obviously Saturday first, but then two huge games after that. How's the squad feeling ahead of that? Yeah, no, it's a big week, big week, and it's uh, going to be a test, massive test um, tomorrow uh, in, a, in a different way. Home game against against Dundee. So. One, we've got to get over the line, get the three points, and then obviously we, we can move on to two, two massive games after that. But obviously, first and foremost, got to get past the big test tomorrow, and that's that's our sole focus at the minute, that we can move on from there. Reflecting on the, the game at Tynecastle, important to get that win at a difficult ground, especially after the drop points. But Audrey, how did you as a kind of group reflect on that game? Yeah, I, I quite enjoyed it, to be honest. I thought I thought we didn't play our best our best game, but I thought the, the grit and the determination, I thought, shone through. And to go to heart, it's not an easy place we've We've been to Hearts before, over the years played well and not got points. We've been to other grounds, you know, went to Aberdeen away, dominated the game for 75 minutes completely and, and didn't didn't get the result we wanted. So I enjoyed it in a different type of way. It wasn't free-flowing football. We made wrong decisions at times, but I loved the grit and the togetherness, the togetherness we, sh- we showed. The manager spoke in his, his press conference after about the fight he sees in the team compared to maybe the, the, the pictures he saw beforehand. Is it important reflecting on those two games that you do maybe when we don't play well, although that's cliche, to, to, to give you that belief the next time you go away because I know a lot of games over the next couple of weeks before and after Christmas? I think so, yeah. I think like every every type of win like that just builds and builds and builds that builds that togetherness. So you know, it's 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 not a bad sign to, to win when you're not when you're not playing when you're not playing great. So long may that continue. And how how are you feeling because you've played a lot of football, there's not a lot of bodies in, in the middle of the middle of the pitch at the moment. How are you feeling not only in your form but with this duration of games over the kind of busy festive period? Yeah, love it. Love it mate. Just love playing games and um I'd want it no other way. Um I've never really been a fan of, of the rotation personally. Um I know a lot of managers do like that, but personally myself, I'd rather if I'm, I'm chosen, I'm chosen, and um, you know, you can. Some managers like to say, you know, you'd have a rest this week. I've not really ever been a fan of that. So yeah, loving my time under the new manager, and uh, thankfully he has been picking me. Can I ask you about your contract situation, John? Are you out at the end of the, the summer? I am, yeah. Yeah. What's the situation? Have you talks with the club about extending it? Yeah, that's just between me and the club. It's it's personal between me and the club, so I'd rather. But there are talks about the possibility of you staying? That's just between me and the club, yeah. Can you put your finger on, John, why the together, togetherness is, is so evident now? Um, I, don't, I'm, I can't put my finger on it completely, you know, but we've, we've had a good run of games, winning games, and so we had a couple of couple of draws in there as well, but um, I can't put my finger on it completely. There is just, just a nice, nice feel around the club at the minute, and... Um, I think just winning games does add does add to that. It just just naturally comes when you are winning. So, you know, hopefully we can just keep building on that team spirit because I think that's where success comes. You see these teams who are successful teams. It's always built on a, a strong foundation of togetherness. So, um, yeah, the more we can build that, I'm, I'm sure it'll help us along the way. Can you give us some insight into to what the managers like, either with you personally or or with the, the whole group? Um, does he deliver a lot of talks? Is it about analysis? How does he work? Um, yeah, there's, there's there's lots of meetings. We, we have to have lots of meetings because we've so many games. So there's lots of meetings and lots of analysis on other teams. But his message is clear. He just wants us to to play with that that grit and determination, and he wants us to play forward a lot more as soon as we can. Um, I think that's probably been been evident in a lot of our games. We play forward and try and get the ball in the opposition's box where it's where it's most dangerous. So probably that's the biggest thing. Um, but yeah, no, no, he's been great, and, and the lads, are, the lads are enjoying it. When he came on board, he said he wanted to try and do as much to ones as possible with players. Has he done that with yourself, and how beneficial has that been? 
yeah, bits and bobs. Yeah, it's, it's as I say, it's tough. There's that many games. I'm sure he'd have loved it to just be Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. But there's that many games coming. It's just always about the next opposition, the next opposition. And obviously, when he can grab you here and there, um, he, he does, and he'll tell you what he thinks and what he thinks you can improve on bits and bobs here and there. But I think just just the mentality he's brought in the squad um, is probably the biggest thing. Is just a real, real winning mentality. You touched upon earlier, obviously all the focus is on this game tomorrow, but in terms of the context of the season, this could be a massive week for the club, couldn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I think we've got to have a good foundation tomorrow and then going forward we can we can go and give it a right a right go in Betis and then, and then there's a cup final to play for. So, no, real exciting week for everyone involved and, and I'm sure everyone in the dressing room wants to play as well. Thanks, guys. John, you've, got, so you've played under four managers now, you seem to be a favourite of all and constantly and the start of it you must take that as a, as a compliment personally as well yeah yeah looking back over my time over previous managers we've had some ups and downs some massive massive ups with the club so look back with with all of them with some fun memories of course some some not so great memories because um, we just want to win at the end of the day and when you lose a game you're disappointed but um, yeah happy to just play for this club mate I, I do I do I've never shone away from how much I enjoy it here so you probably had as many midfield partners as anyone in the league this season. You find that quite tough. It's always, always seemed to be someone different this year. <laughs> Ideally, you'd probably want it to be to try and build something, yeah. Um, that'd be the ideal world, but I'm sure any manager in the world would probably love his 11 to be there. Everyone firing on all, all cylinders, never mind injuries, loss of form. I'm sure every manager in the world would want that, but um, but yeah, everyone everyone in that change room is capable of, of, of filling a role, so it's, it's no problem.